Hello, Leo. Rambling Mike here. Going to play some tarot cards with you, my friends. Thank you for tuning in one more time. Thank you, Leo, for all of you that reach out, touch that like button right there. And uh, thank you and great appreciation for all of you that have and are touching that subscribe button right there. Thank you so very much for it, my friends. Also want to take a second here to thank all of my Leo friends that have reached out and blessed me with donations. Thank you for all of that. And also, uh, thank you again to all of my Leo friends that have reached out to me for private readings. Always a blessing to get to know each and every one of you. If you would like to bless me with a donation or you'd like to find out information about uh, contacting me for a private reading. All that information is down below in the description area. Thank you again, Leo. All right, let's play some cards. These uh, readings will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2019. Hey, 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 we're definitely into the new year here. These readings will be for love and relationships. Relationships of all kinds, home, work, family. Yeah, we got a lot going on. I myself am going to be focusing on love. Master goes, well, quite simply, I love to read for love. And personally, I believe that love is the most powerful thing in this universe. Now, we all know that there's no way these can be for every Leo on the planet, sun, moon, rising, Venus. So, hey, uh, you know, if it resonates with you, Run with it and have fun with it. And if it doesn't, have fun throwing this reading out the door. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Six of Swords jumped out right there. Oh, uh, wow. Look at the Six of Swords and the Tower. Talks about coming out of choppy waters, moving away from a situation. Tower card showing up here. Sudden change coming in from any of my Leos. Maybe... Walking away from something, learning life lessons. Definitely talked about movement right there. All my cross watchers, you're absolutely welcome here. I do want to remind you that even though I'll be saying Leo a lot, these could very well play out from your perspective. We all know that. Uh, and Leo, you know, these can play out vice versa. So let's all fire up our intuition, psychic abilities, all that fun stuff. As we play with the fun, esoterical world of tarot today. Leo, let's go with this right here. I'm going to tune in. Hey, tarot, we love team. Leo's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. All my guides that love me, you're absolutely welcome here. And all of Leo's guides that love my Leo's, you're welcome here. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Leo's highest good thank you so very much for that love team i cannot do this without you appreciate you my guides here we go leo cutting the deck <clears throat> leo right in the middle of your spread here there's a face card it is the king of cups this is the king of love he is water energy Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. This king right here, uh, you know, is, well, kings are always somebody mature. It can be male or female. Uh, this is the king of love. They can love very deeply. Uh, but you can see right here that he's not jumping in that old ocean of emotion. He has one foot in the ocean of emotion. This is somebody that is emotionally balanced for the most part. They definitely don't wear their heart on their sleeve, but they can love very, very deeply, have the potential to be an amazing mate, have the potential to be very spiritual. Let's see what crosses over this king here. Is the world card. Uh, the world card talks about completion of old cycles and new cycles coming in here for you. My Leo friends can talk about, well, the world can talk about <clears throat> two may live at a distance from each other. 
may have been some challenges in the past, it's old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. <clears throat> this is um, this card has to do with all four fixed zodiacs: Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo are all represented by this world card right here. This talks about Leo seeing himself slap up in the middle of their world, seeing their world as their oyster, and ooh la la, there's my pearl of great prize right here in the middle of your spread, this king of love. Huh. <clears throat> Bottom of the spread is a chariot card, a major arcana, major life force card. This is Cancer. Also represents Sagittarius to me because of the ponies, but I'm definitely seeing Cancer right here. Cancer Leo, these show up a lot. Definitely shows that the pony has been pulling out different directions for a while. But this is a card of victory. It's a card of focus. It's a card of driving your chariot exactly where you want it to go. You know, um, like I say, maybe there's a distance between you two, but this is a nice card of victory at the base of the spread with this king and with a cycle change that's coming in here for Leo because this card, it, it represents focused victory. That the base of your spread, the victory card. I like that, Leo. Recent past, we have the Emperor, another major arcana. This is the third major in a row that showed up here. Could be representing Leo, absolutely. Uh, Leo, large and in charge of their world. Maybe, maybe many of my Leo friends, uh, uh, walked away from this situation with this king in the middle of my uh, spread here. I wanted to go and look at other things in life. Maybe this relationship, you can see the charioteer right there is coming out of the city. Uh, maybe um, made many of my Leos feel out of their comfort zone. But what I'm getting right here is the Emperor. This is Aries. It's also, I put all the horned uh, zodiacs with this card. So that's Aries, Capricorn, Taurus can all be represented in my spreads when the Emperor shows up. But really what I see here is that Leo uh, established themselves, and they're always very good with business and, and all that kind of stuff. Very, very talented, gifted uh, people. But the emperor, you know, he's taking a moment here to look in his world right there, seeing what he wants. He's been in the battle. That's why he has armor on, but he's no longer in the battle. He's uh, just chilling in his throne right here. It's a card of stability, and it could possibly mean that many of my Leo friends would like to find some stability, you know, with the two ponies here on the chariot card pulling at different directions. Many of my Leos may not have known which way they really want to go. I mean, Leo are very good looking, generally, generally have uh, the opportunity to have a lot of suitors in their life, you know. Who doesn't love Leo? Hmm? Love you guys. Uh, but uh, definitely looking for some kind of stability. Definitely this emperor is staring right at this king of love or the queen of love. And um, been through the battle, not in the battle anymore, looking for stability to come into their life. Crowning the spread is a major arcana. Justice. Libra has showed up in this spread. May mean something to you, may not. The Justice card is about balancing of karma, straightening things out. Uh, many, many, I mean, we've got, this is the fourth major arcana right here. It's a, an interesting spread. Lots of these spreads have been coming up with all these majors this time around. Major things are happening. The universe is attempting to line up, you know, uh, people with who we're supposed to be with. Justice can talk about, justice 
coming into your life. That's the, you know, that's the one that grandma told us about, huh? If you want people to be good to you, be good to them. You know, it talks about what you put out is what's going to come back. You can also talk that this sword is raised in the air here, huh? Many of my Leos could be, like I said, the emperor having his armor on. He's been through the battle, but he's no longer in the battle. Many of my uh, Leos could be, this is a card of separation from some kind of committed relationship, possibly for many, not all of my Leos, but it is justice on top of your spread. We, uh, the majors that I have on the board are Libra, Cancer, Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn, Taurus. May mean something to you, may not. It really looks like uh, justice is balancing out for uh, my Leos right here. A new, a new cycle has started right here. Many of you may have separated yourself from one of these zodiacs that I mentioned and may be focusing on this king of love that may live at a distance from you. You may have moved, may have moved, but uh, still see this king right here in the midst of everything. Uh, believing for justice to come in in your love life. I feel that very strong, my Leo friends. <clears throat> in the immediate future is Five of Cups. Yeah, justice talks about that with me, that, well, you're looking for justice to come in your life. See, we got some cup spiller over here. There's a cup spiller running around in Leo's life. Like I say, the emperor, he's been through the battle, but he's no longer in it, believing for justice to come in. Can talk about separating yourself from somebody and focusing on that, you know, the processing time at this particular moment for my Leos. But this card does show the two cups on the back of this character right here. He's, he's, he's focused on the spilled cups with justice, and uh, Leo, represented by wanting stability, has not been stable, and uh, cycle change coming in here for you, bringing stability in. But Five of Cups definitely talks to me about a time of processing right now. You know, let's not focus on the spilled cups. Let's turn around and see the two cups that are behind you. This is water energy. And this is that King of Cups right here. Turn around, pick up the two cups. The two cups in the tarot always talk about the true love, the divine love, the bliss. Turn around and pick up these two cups and go over the bridge, over troubled water, back up to that castle of high vibration right there where Leo's supposed to live. You know, that's the cycle change, huh? Justice coming in here for you in the love arena. A stability coming in here for many of my Leos right here. But we do have that time of processing with Five of Cups here. Uh -huh. How Leo sees themselves at this particular point in time is the hermit. I'm telling you, I see a separation here. And I see that you're really wondering what's up with this king of love in the middle of your spread. Definitely wanting a new beginning right here with this king. But definitely clearing up some stuff, leaving some things behind that did not work for you. And uh, the Hermit definitely talks about that as well. It's another major arcana. This is five. One, two, three, four, five major arcana in this spread. The Hermit. This is Virgo. May mean something to you, may not. The Hermit has gone down inside of himself, healing his heart, healing his mind. When he was down in there, he found the star. He brought it out for all to see. This is, this is my hopes and my dreams. And it talks about astrological alignments lining up for you too here, Virgo. This is somebody led and guided by the divine in, what, in the direction that they're going to move at. Look at this. The hermit is shining his his lantern right at the chariot, which is cancer. I keep looking at this king. It's water. The two cups right there is water. Uh, many of my, Le my Leos may have been playing with a Libra or an Aries in the past and unstable in that arena right there. 
but uh, definitely gone down inside and it looks like, you know, many of my Leos are being led and guided by the divine, you know, to take a look at this chariot right here again. Saying it's at the base of your spread and this king of love, king of waters right there. And I like to look at how the cards look at each other. This emperor is looking at that king of love as well. But there's processing time because I do see with justice right up there, some kind of breakup, some kind of, you got to change things that are in your world and you know it and you've gone inside and this is the way to do it. You know, heal your heart, heal your mind and, you know, spend time with the divine, whoever that is to you, Leo. Crossing over top of this situation is nine of swords. Yep, I'm telling you. For many of my Leo friends, uh, you may feel that you walked away from a situation and went for something else that didn't work out. Nine of Swords on top of the World card and my King of Cups. You know, sleepless nights about the whole situation. The wringing of the hands, the wouldas, the couldas, the shouldas, huh? Mm -hmm. so, you know, and this is not to, you know, this is, you know, let's not focus on, 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 on what we possibly could have lost right here. I see a new beginning coming in here for you, but definitely uh, dealing with this is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have Libra up on top of the spread and uh, the, 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 you know, the, just the would is the could is the should is of what I should have done. I want stability in my world. I definitely ended a, some kind of relationship right here. I'm processing that with the three spilled cups. Maybe this person over here, you know, you wanting stability. Maybe they weren't playing right. Maybe they were off playing with somebody else. And just like Leo, just kind of like, man, oh man. And um, right here in the top of the position, another king has showed up in the hopes position. Uh, could very well be the same king right here. They may have air in their chart, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, water in their chart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I do believe it's the same king right here because of the anguish, Nine of Swords, and... Uh, Many of you, I mean, this king right here, yeah, you know, he's definitely seems a little detached, this king. You know, he's, he's the king of air. He has his heart protected right there. Hmm? Has his heart protected right there. But many of my uh, Leos are thinking about somebody that is mature, stable in life. They may live at a distance from you. You may have walked away from it in the recent past, thinking that uh, it was going to go somewhere right over here. But looks to me like they, they, this person right here may have been playing around. You may have fired them and gone inside doing the inner work on yourself and thinking about this, this uh, chariot that you left. Uh, you know, this is cancer, saggy. May mean something to you, may not. Uh, this is, you know, stable, they're entrepreneur right here, energy, smart, this person's smart, man, um, but they may be a little standoffish and kind of wondering, I really would like to make contact with them, you know what I'm saying, Leo, do it, man, and outcome, there it is right there, there it is right there, there's the outcome, yeah, messages coming in right here, my princess of pentacles, some of my uh, Leos may have some earth in your chart, but this is uh, my little princess. She's about messages. These are messages in the 3D um, telephone calls or face-to-face -face meetings with somebody. Uh, hoping for the best, believing that, you know, the worst is over in, in all of this right here with this king. I'm telling you, I see this king right here. I believe that's the same person right there. Uh-huh. And uh, wanting a new day to begin, you know, coming in with that pinnacle right there. Uh, with the Nine of Swords and Five of Cups. 
I see that many of my Leos may be a little hesitant, you know, but hey, man, I'm not going to tell Leo nothing about confidence. Go, go get him, Leo. You know, it talks about going in and giving an offer, taking it one step at a time. This doesn't rush. This is one step at a time. Little piece of the harvest in the hand, huh? A new day dawning, walking by this old uh, Japanese cherry blossom. Let's talk with me about good luck and good fortune coming in here for you. You know, the worst is over, moving forward. I see Leo reaching out right here. At, you know, processing, five of cups, processing uh, this justice up on top, processing, you know, desiring stability, and wanting a cycle change to come in with this king right here, feeling that they may be stubborn and that they may be closed off to you, but I see Leo just getting up their courage and just picking up the phone and giving them a call. Uh-huh. Bottom of the spread is the lover's card. Gemini has showed up on the board. Another major arcana. This is one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana out of 11 cards. Over half of this is majors. This is a major situation. And like I said right here, Leo making choices between lovers at this particular point in time. Nine of swords, five of cups, going through the processing of it all. But I do see my Leos reaching out and saying, hey, how are you? I miss you. Can we go maybe have a, a cup of coffee? I see it. It's absolutely beautiful, Leo. And um, the lover's making a choice. Eight of Pentacles coming up tells me that Leo knows that to put this relationship back together, the one that the Emperor is looking at right here, the one that they want a cycle change to come in, that they know that this is going to take work to put this together. This is my blacksmith. He gets up early in the morning, starts that fire in that kiln right there, and he's focused pouring that into a, a coin right here, you know. Definitely tells me that uh, Leo knows that it's going to take work to put this together. That's good. Uh, it also says that Leo's willing to put the work into this situation. Eights are numbers of new beginnings. That is a new beginning. That eight right there in particular can talk with me about life purpose opening up here for you. And here we go. Here we go. Uh, the triumph and return of the Sun King. Six of Wands. This is victory after the battle because of confidence within yourself. I saw that this whole way. If I can encourage you to call this special person that you may have left behind at one time, I want to encourage you to do that. This, she, she, she reaches out with that coin right there. Why? This person makes you feel good. huh? They, they show you the attention that you're worthy of, Leo. And um, it shows victory. That is the second victory card that's come up about this king right here. Six of Cups. It's definitely somebody from your past, huh? Soulmate, life partner, twin flame type energy is right here. Challenging to put together, but once they come together, man, it talks about bliss with these two right here, you know. Uh, Six of Cups definitely talks about sweet thoughts of nostalgia when times were good and they were sweet. Six of Cups talks about past life relationships. And you definitely have known this person in the past before. Many of you many of you uh, went off on an adventure I, a, a while ago. I mean, this is distant past. Definitely can't get them out of your thoughts. You want to go and reach out? I'm telling you, go ahead and reach out. All right, so it's a fun spread, Leo. It's a fun spread. Uh, love team, let's throw out some love cards here for Leo on top of this spread that line up with this. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Past life relationships, I just got done talking about that with Six of Cups right here. Always those have to do with all kinds of forgiveness and all kinds of clearing karma because one thing's for sure, we don't know what happened in past lives, so... There's lots of time to sit down and quiet yourself and 
uh, let the words come out of your mouth. I forgive them and I forgive myself, not only for this lifetime, but for past lifetimes as well. I see Leo being led and guided into some kind of divine relationship right here. Definitely learned a lot of life lessons at this particular point in time, but it is absolutely about to change. And that's because Leo <laughs> ain't gonna sit over there and uh, feel sorry for themselves too long at all. They're gonna get up and go get what they want. I'm happy about that. Past life relationships, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Many times these kind of six of cups are uh, different soulmates, uh, different, different things. And sometimes there's age differences, cultural differences, racial differences, all kinds of differences, huh? That's what makes the world go round. That's what makes the world special, you know. We're making it special. We're changing it, you know. More, please. Yeah, and religious factors. Imagine that after I said all that. This is a divine partnership card with me out of the 44 in this deck right here. Religious factors. I, I see it right here, man. This is some kind of twin flame soulmate life partner thing that's coming together. It's been very challenged, but they all are. They're always uh, blessed with bliss because, you know, these people are uh, supposed to uh, be changing this world that we live in with these uh, dynamic relationships that come together. Religious factors, once again, can talk about uh, age difference, cultural difference, all that fun stuff. Many of you have absolutely been in separation from this person for a season right here, but I see that coming out as you know, my princess makes an approach. Hi, I missed you. You want to go have a cup of coffee? It's, it's nothing big. It's just like, hey, let's talk. Think we can talk again? Yeah. Separation from a soulmate. It's very clear to me what this is about. If you're being led and guided to make an offering to somebody very special to you, Somebody that you may not have seen for a while. Huh? Do it. Do it. You know, uh, life lessons were learned here. Moving forward, you know that uh, this could have great potential to work out. You probably have done past lives with these people. All kinds of karma clearing. Looks to me like a lot of this karma has cleared. I'm happy for you, Leo. It's beautiful. It's absolutely a soulmate. All that challenging stuff, religious factors, keep an open mind, past life relationship. <sighs> Definitely been in separation from each other, kind of concerned about that, you know. Uh, I, you know, and that's what we look at tarot for is advice right here. Yeah, if I'm resonating with you right here, you know who I'm talking about. This is a very special soulmate connection with you, Leo. You know all about it right here. It says to go ahead and be brave. Herophant has showed up. Herophant is uh, the spiritual leader. Talks about being streetwise and spiritual at the same time. I've seen that a lot of life lessons have been learned in this season for my Leos. You know, it's because he's about being the student and the teacher at the same time. It's also about seeking out spiritual wisdom or guidance from others, generally about committed relationships. It's the Pope of the tarot deck. He is about committed relationships and the life lessons that we learn from them. And he's also about committed relationships, the ones that we sign up for in the 5D before we come here and play in the 3D. It's very clear to me. Hierophant, you know, wisdom can talk about a committed relationship, a very, very special one. And for my empress right here, I love this, you know. She always talks about new beginnings in abundance and new beginnings in love coming in here for you. This is Venus. Venus, and once again, this is Taurus, Libra. It's a powerful energy about... Uh, and we have both, man, sacred masculine, the emperor and the empress are on the board here with the spread, with the hierophant right in the middle of them right there. 
Strength on the bottom, my Leo. Strength from the universe as you go through this situation right here. Huh? Taming the beast within and doing what's best for you. Yeah, strength and justice came out again. Justice coming in here for you. There's definitely a separation going on for many of my Leos with five of cups here. But the promise of the two cups is absolutely on this spread right here. If you, if you are led and guided by the divine to go ahead and reach out, then do that, my friends. It's really what I see right here because judgment. Leo's making a judgment call right now. And the uh, proper judgment always leads to Phoenix from the ashes. Huh? It's about second chances, third chances. An apology. This is about um, realizing the fact that you are creating your own reality from the inside out, that what you think, feel, and believe is what you are going to manifest, my Leo friends. My prayers are with you. I love you, Leo. You know I do. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. I'll be talking to you soon, Leo. Bye for now.